Hey guys, how we doing? Six o'clock Friday afternoon. We're going to do two lives today, um, but we are just going to wait for Zara Holland to jump on today. Um, she should be ready. Um, and uh, we're going to be having a little chat. Hey Charlotte, hey Sean, how you doing guys? Thanks for dropping by. Um, I'm going to do my, uh, my, my usual uh competition uh competition 9 p.m thing later on i've not done a competition post yet um because to myself i've had a busy day and i haven't thought what the competition is going to be but oh, hang on is is zara now uh view okay Does that work? ah there you are i'm here I knew I knew you'd have better hair than me. I knew it. Well, I've actually washed it and curled it, so <laughs> yeah, everyone should feel quite honoured right now. I bet you've been pruning for hours. When 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 you posted your stories earlier, I thought, oh my god, your hair! I'm going to have to have a shave. <laughs> it's actually been quite nice though to put some normal clothes on and get dressed and put makeup on and just sort of feel. A bit like, right, I should now be, it's Friday, going to the pub or going out, but we can't really do that. Have you, have you done your virtual wine drinking yet? <laughs> yeah, I did that on Sunday with um, a company in Yarm called 14 Drops. I've actually got a wine now. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> um, you know what, I, was, I, I had a guy on last night, uh, we, we were doing like um, an Insta Live talking about uh, Instagram, he's like an Instagram growth tactic guy. So, so we did, we did like a good chat. But I was saying at the beginning of the live, I'm so glad that I was doing it with someone because I've been doing these every night on my own, and I call yeah. it, I call it wine time with Matt. So I, well, <laughs> I, I, I sit down with my glass of wine. But the reality is, I never get to drink it because I'm on my own. So I'm doing all the talking, and uh, you know, I, I literally, I must get one sip in an hour. So I was so happy that this guy was on. I was like, "You do all the talking. I'm just going to sit here and drink." So. <laughs> But go on, tell me about your virtual wine tasting. How does it work? Because I've not done one yet. So they sent four bottles of wine, so two reds, two whites, um, and it was all on Zoom, which, again, I've never heard of Zoom before, and I think that Zoom is great. I love it. I will definitely use it for the future for our business, and I think a lot of people will as well. Um, and, yeah, it was about, I think, about an hour and a half long, and you got to taste different wines, Um the guys from the wine shop told you all about it. It was great. I think it's nice to, did it was just something different to do that? as well. Did you know any of the other people on there? You know, like like the other people who were at home as well? Uh, four others, yeah. But, and, and, can, and could you see, can you see each other, or were you only just looking at the, uh, at the wine guy? Yeah, you can see each other, yeah. Yeah, so far, so so I start. I'd only downloaded Zoom at the beginning of last week as well because I've I've been using it for work, and it's funny, like you say, you know, loads of people are going to use it going forward. I was I was just on the phone to someone before this, and they were saying, "Oh, I'm just downloading Zoom," and it's like the the whole world's bonded over these different bits of tech now. And I was thinking it's only going to be a matter of days before there's before there's memes about Zoom and you know, memes about you know that this this that and the other, all these new pieces of tech that people have got to use to communicate with each other. Yeah, I know. I think it's definitely been life-changing uh i'm just replying to natalie get to be seven uh i probably should be but i'm a few ones is that what you do online huh is that what you do online yeah it's i love it i, I like your story where where you do you do it on the time lapse you know, you do it all the time, but I've decided you only. Your shows do... are a bit cringe. <laughs> well, I've decided you only do it so that you can play it back later and watch yourself and think you've actually been fast while you've been doing it. Oh, do you know what? Right, if anyone's watching who has seen me do a boot camp, they're bloody hard. So you can sod <laughs> off. It's my first drink tonight. This week, I've been good. Are you sure? Yes. Is, is that, but it's getting out of hand, though. I mean, I mean I've, been, I've been drinking literally every day. I mean, I, I like a glass of wine anyway. You know, a glass becomes a bottle. But I just think if I was, out, if I was able to get out of the house, if I was able to do normal things, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be bothered so much, you know, because I, I do drink quite regularly. Yeah. I think because you feel cooped up, I, I, I just feel like extra chocolate, extra right. wine. And I think one of the things I'm missing the most is, is actually going to the gym. Not I'm still going out, I'm still running and stuff, but uh, there's, I think there's just something a bit tougher about going to the gym, isn't there? Well, 
you've, you've gone very quiet. I can't hear a word. Oh, can you not hear me? Oh, not just eloquent. You, you, you like gone completely quiet. What were you laughing at? I was laughing at some of the comments people are putting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. They're any... probably a bit more of like private jokes, so let's not add to them. Be honest, are you really going to the gym? Yes, I bloody well am. Well, obviously not going to the gym. I'm doing online workouts, which for me are really important. Like, I have realised that I need a routine in my life. <clears throat> like, it's really important to me. Um, I'll never complain about saying, about going to work ever again. I can't even begin to tell you how much I miss being in the shop. Um, having that normal routine. And I guess, communicating and seeing everyone like with me um if people that don't know my mum and I've got two ladies fashion boutiques and even if people come in all the time and I really miss everyone it's um it's definitely strange not being at work what what else have you added to your routine other than other than going uh, to do your workouts to try and stay sane cleaning <laughs> I feel like I've turned into Mrs. Hinch. I was going to um, say, Mrs. Mrs. Hinch was on the rise anyway before lockdown. I bet, I bet, she, I bet she's as famous as The Rock now. <laughs> yeah, I love Mrs. Hinch anyway. But yeah, I've been, um, I stocked up on quite a few cleaning products and I'm like, right, I've cleaned the house. <laughs> but I think everyone's the same. Like I downloaded House Party. Um, so I've been keeping in touch with friends and family on there. I've also, I've, I've, I've not me. been on house party yet. Huh? I haven't been on house party yet. Har Har Harley's been using it with her friends, but I just think it's so funny that all these apps are, that used to be for all the kids, all the oldies are on now. And I'm, I'm talking to like 55, 60 year olds who are like, oh yeah, yeah, we did, we just did a house party meeting. <laughs> <laughs> it's I like it. I love world. watching everyone's TikToks as well, but I'm useless at it. Have so, you, got, you got a TikTok account? I've got one, but there's only one video on there from. Um, on our holiday earlier this year, and I I don't understand TikTok. So if anyone's got any tips, <laughs> feel free to send them through. I, I want to see you do one of the Gemma Collins TikToks. Have you do you know the ones I mean? Have you seen those? Like from Big Brother when she was in Big Brother. Well, so you you know how you can like do it to a song, or, yeah. or you can kind of do it to a voice. So there's there's loads of like Gemma Collins voice clips like. I don't, know, I don't know what she's got, but let's say like a 15, 20 second clip. And you, you have to sit there and like, like mime, mime to the Gemma Collins thing. And it'd be obviously like some you know, ludicrously offensive GC, GC comment. But uh, yeah. you can do that when you hang up after this. Oh, Sarah, what do you keep doing to keep it walking or work out? I am trying to go for a walk every day, Mandy. Um, but I've been doing some online boot camps as well, which have really kind of kept me motivated i think if so all my boot camps have been on zoom or on the live facebook um or instagram i think if i was just following something where even no one could really see you i'd probably do let's say five press-ups instead of ten um and again that's just for me personally um it really helps me like an hour's workout an hour high intensity or a walk or a run um me personally, it really, really, really helps. Um, and then I can eat lots of mini eggs. <laughs> well, why why has someone asked if you like Negroni cocktails, by the way? Is, 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 that, is, that, is, that, pri is that one of your private jokes? Mm, no. <laughs> I don't know who's asked that. I haven't seen. In uh, fact, I think I can probably guess. It was, it was earlier on, I saw it. Oh, God. No, I like, oh, I like anything sweet. If it's a cocktail or an espresso martini. Lovely look at some of the comments on here. All about the mind more so than the body right now. Oh, Vivian's uh, hey Viv, how you doing, Viv? Oh, Viv, I need you to do more pictures for the shop. Viv is the best photographer in the world. So if anyone has a wedding coming up <laughs> or anything, I am the Viv's biggest supporter ever. Well, I was say, she it, it, is it, incredible and very talented at her job. Unless your wedding's coming up too soon, and then, and, then, and then it's going to be an online wedding. But tell it might how, be a virtual wedding over Zoom. <laughs> or more, more, more likely, how many weddings are going to be cancelled after, after after you've been locked down with your fiance for the, for the last couple for the next, last couple of weeks, next couple of months? 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. I read something the other day, Google released, it was, um, how do I speak for my marriage in lockdown, or tips for keeping my marriage alive. So true story. I was I was talk, talking to a guy like a, a guy from work yesterday, um, mm. and he's, he's telling me about a business he's invested in. And I thought he was joking, but he's not. He's, he's actually invested in an online divorce lawyer. Um, so I, I guess no. I, I mean I don't know the full ins and outs of how it works, but I guess like an online doctor. So you know they've got you know, qualified lawyers, but but you just do it all online over Zoom, whatever. And he said yeah. this has gone through the roof. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, it's um. I don't know how was lockdown. Say again. I don't know if you put your finger over the mic or something. Ah. Can you hear me now? Perfect. Yeah. What was you? Did you, did you say? How's your like web seminars going and things? I mean, for us personally, um, I mean, we've been we launched our website three years ago. Um, and we've been open and trading for over 11 years in, in both shops. But for us, I feel like it's our time to kind of get online really going. I feel like I need to use the time that we're in lockdown and we've got no option to open the shop to really get online going um, and work with bloggers, work with up-and-coming bloggers. Um I feel I mean, like people. Huh? I, I, I was going to say absolutely one hundred percent. I mean, I mean, I've all the conversations I've had either you know, with people in the businesses I'm involved in, or, or on these lives, or on my webinars and stuff in general. It's just mm. I, you know, co co completely championing the need, you know, to not be sat at home, you know, moaning about lockdown or or, or complaining that we you know we can't get in our offices or we can't get in our bricks and mortar shops. But we you know we've got to completely embrace the co the concept of online. Um, and that's what you are like, you know, you talked about Zoom earlier. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I sent an email out today for a webinar that I'm doing next week about uh, about how to set your business up to run it, f to run a remote workforce. Because I believe that when, when we come back from this, um, that there is going to be so many businesses that have, have actually realized that, you know what, I, I don't need a physical office. I don't need so many staff or, or mm -hmm. I... I can start to I can start to work with an outsourced workforce, uh, and and I think you know now now's the time that as as a, as a business owner you've got to embrace all this new tech, and as an employee yeah. or a you know a, 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 a self-employed or a one-man band entrepreneur, you know you you've got to realise that that is how how big business is going is going to be thinking when they come back, and 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 to, you know to make yourself indispensable and, and valuable to, you know, to this new tech. New tech. It doesn't really matter what, you know, what business it is. I mean, you know, we, we all know that retail has been, been declining on a bricks and mortar basis, on a bricks and mortar basis, you know, for, 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 for years and years. And, you know, I think this is, you know, for so many retailers, you know, this is almost going to be, you know, the, the, <laughs> the absolute nail in the coffin. Uh, but, you know, if, if you, if you, if you take it with the, the you know the positive the positive attitude and try and and try and take the best bits out of this, there is going to be some fantastic opportunities for people. Um, you know when when uh, everyone else has fallen that by the wayside and lockdown's over. Yeah, I I I totally agree with you. Um, and I really think that if people are watching this at like the older generation, I don't want to take it the wrong way. If they are very new to social media, because a lot of people are if they've they've had a business and sort of been going for years and years i would love them to learn more about social media because i think that would really help their business um but i yeah it's it's i can't wait to reopen but at the same time i think the fashion industry is going to change from from what happened um i think people probably will probably stick to wearing gym stuff and, and loungewear as well. I think people have realised it's so comfy, like we can go out in it all the time. Um, m m maybe this is going to be the death of barbers as well. You know, maybe they're going to wear, wear, wear lounge clothes and then just think, fuck it, I don't need to wash my hair and I can only shower twice a week as well. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I don't know. I can't wait for the beauticians to open, to get my nails done, to get my roots done. <laughs> I know, um, like, by the way, that's like, they're not serious problems. I'm just sort of saying <laughs> I can't, I can't yeah. wait to, um, to, to do it. And I, like, really would love a, a big party and be like, right, lockdown's over. 
you know, support your local businesses as well. If anyone's watching, if you can support your local shops, your butchers, hairdressers, anything that's local, please, please do. Because honestly, from the bottom of my heart, like I had a message actually about five minutes before I came on and a lady messaged our Mimi business page and she said, I'd like to buy a gift voucher for £60. Um, our gift vouchers don't have an expiry date as well. That's another thing I'll come on to because I think it's, in my opinion, businesses that have expiry dates on gift vouchers, I do not agree with it at all. I think if you're buying a gift voucher for someone for a gift, why should it have an, an expiry date? I'm sorry, as well, in normal life, people forget they have them. I just think six months on a gift voucher is well, well, ridiculous. Especially in your case, I mean, I mean, maybe if there's a specific experience it's a different concept but yeah but in your kind yeah. of business, a retail business it really doesn't matter you know someone's exchanging cash for a cash equivalent and and if it takes them three years to spend it well the value of that gift will get the value of the gift voucher is going to be a little bit less but it, do, it doesn't it doesn't affect you it's just the same as someone giving you 60 quid in cash or 60 quid on a switch card or whatever yeah yeah definitely so like i said before i came on um this lady messaged and that I can't even tell you. I screenshot the message, I sent it to mum, I sent it a few of the girls. I was like, oh my God, like how nice is this that somebody has taken the time to message me and say, right, I want to support you. Here is the money for a voucher. And it is so important. I'm not saying as well that everyone has to go and buy a gift voucher. I'm just saying that... <laughs> Only for Mimi. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you'd like to, go follow us on Instagram. <laughs> Drop me a DM. Um, no, I think I think it's really important, like, like what I said. Um, and it is definitely going to be hard. I think it's going to be a hard year for, for small independent shops and, again, the big retailers. But if everybody sticks together, I think we will definitely... Um, yeah, come, come out of I, mean, I mean, obviously, over the last few weeks, I mean, you, you, you've really kind of demonstrated how, how passionate, you know, passionate you are for the independent retail. I mean, you've, you've been giving shout outs and support and, 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 and you're yeah. doing anything you can. I mean, obviously, as an independent retailer yourself, I guess, you, you know, you, you're, you're really visible to that market. But do you, think, do you think you always noticed and felt like that? Or do you think it's only really been hammered home to you over, over the last you know, month or two as, as the corona, corona problems have kicked in? Um, uh, for me, we have got one of the shops in um, a little village called Hezel, just outside of Hull. And the village we're in is full of independent retailers, which I love. So I've always, always, always supported them. And the community has. Um, people who live in Hesel and the surrounding areas are always um, really supportive and do support the local shops. I think for me personally, yes. Um, it has sort of made me think a bit more if I think, oh, if I was going to log on to maybe a well-known uh, website to order a birthday card, let's say. I would actually think, oh, right, no, I can go to the shop across the road and, and get one because that money is going towards them, you know. And it is so true. I don't know. You, I've, I've seen the quote a lot. It's when they say when you get an online order of people, when people come in the shop and they, they purchase something, the owner does a little dance. And it's so true. I can't honestly tell you, when you believe in your business and you work so hard and the love and the passion is there, when, when people buy something or they support you or they leave a review, like, comment, share, whatever, whatever it is, I cannot honestly tell you how amazing that feeling is. It really is amazing. Could, could you see yourself opening any more, any, any more physical shops in, uh, in, in small... In, in small <laughs> or, or no. Like, um, no. Do you, know, do you know what? If I had maybe... If I had four of myself and four of my mum... Um, then yeah, I would open more, but I don't. Um, How do you guys do it? Do, do, do you do one store and your mom does the other? Do you swap between? How does it work? So we employ staff as well. We so we employ part time staff, which they're they're amazing. Um, but we, I'm mainly based in my Hesel store, and I do all the online, all the all 
orders myself. So no one else does that. It's myself and mum who do everything. I do all the social media. Um, so we split ourselves between the two stores. And then again, when, when the shop closes at five, that doesn't mean we go home at five. That means we go to the shop at five and we change the window, we take new stock. So normally on a Wednesday and Thursday, we're normally in our Beverly store till about 10 at night. Um, and I think that's as well, a lot of people don't realize is we don't go home at five. <laughs> you know, we carry on. I'm always answering Instagram messages. We're trying to think of the next thing. We want to bring, um, we want to bring like the best stock to our customers. We want to give them a personal experience. Uh, when they come into the store, we want to be different. Um, and we've met with our customers really are wonderful. Uh, they've become friends. Um, and yeah, we, like I said, we try and give a really unique experience. And I, and I truly believe that is why we work. You know, when you're doing the buying, do, do, you, do you buy everything that you would want to wear? Or, or can you detach yourself and, and actually buy stuff that that isn't your cup of tea, but you, you, know, but you, know, it's for your, you know it's for your customer base and they will buy it? Well, I wonder if mum's watching. She would actually answer this really well as well. Earlier, sorry. Hang on. She, she was on earlier. I think she was checking up how much wine we were drinking before seven o'clock. <laughs> mum, hope she doesn't miss training you tonight. Top. Oh, right, she was, she was there. She better not. Matt. Oh God, there's so many videos. Um, nine times out of ten, oh, we buy what we like. However, however, what we sell online is very different to what we sell in the stores. And in our Beverly store, compared to our Hazel store, there are two totally different clientels. We have a lot more regular customers in our Hazel store. In Beverly, we get a lot more tourists. They buy totally different things. Um, it, it ranges from the size of the clothes to the style to the colours. It's And they're 20 minutes away from each other, Matt. It's not like they're an hour away from each other. Um, so, yeah, the answer to that is nine times out of ten, yes. But sometimes... I don't know, maybe about 10, 15%, we think. Makes sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, um, it's definitely, like I said, I, I've said it about probably a million times in the video. I can't wait to be open. Um, oh, Helen, Helen, she comes in the shop, just she misses me. I miss her too. You know, you, you know, I was thinking we were just talking a minute ago. I don't, even, I don't know if you've ever done it, but you know, uh, obviously everyone's thinking of adaptive ways, and you know, now we're stuck at home. What about Insta Live fashion shows when, when the store's back open? What, are you going to model? Well, <laughs> only in the Mimi own brand underwear. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we've actually been doing live videos anyway. Um, I mean, yeah, when we're back open, I def we definitely, I know that we need to do more live videos. Um, Mum and I say it every week. We say, right, okay, this Wednesday at seven, we'll go live and then something will come up or we'll go to the shop. And then by the time you change window, moved everything around, done your online orders, sorted everything else out. It's like, oh, yeah, you'll do it next week, but... You know what? Again, I feel exactly the same. But it's just one of those things you've got to you've just got make to time, the discipline, and do it. And like, I mean, I I don't know if I'd ever done a live. I might have done one live before I started during lockdown, and I've now done every single night for two weeks. I've done. Mm. I've done like, yeah, because you've got nothing else to do, though. That's you why. Know, you know how busy I am, right? <laughs> I've been so so busy. Not 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 necessarily positive things, but I've still been super super busy. But like I've done every day at nine, and I did I did one lunchtime one as well. And like, earlier on, I was just having a shower before this, and I thought, you know what? I haven't because I do a competition every day as well. I thought I've not announced my competition yet. I've not planned any content to talk about at nine o'clock. I can make an excuse because you and I are doing this at six. So fuck it, I don't need to bother doing it tonight. And I thought, you know what? No, because if I do that, if I do that tonight and I pack, and, and I drop out of it, 
then it's a slippery slope, and then tomorrow, then tomorrow I'll find an excuse not to do it, and, and, and before you know it, I've, I've, I've just written it off again. So I've got to. Yeah, I think it's just saying, you know what? Come hell or high water, I'll do it. Even if I've only got five minutes, you know, you might plan to do it for an hour, but just even if you jump on for five minutes, ten minutes. Well, I say jump on whatever it is you want to do. You know, whether you're writing a blog or a short story or whatever. But it's always so. You know, we're always. We've always got something else we're too busy with if, if, if we want to, haven't we? I think uh, you know, now is now, the perfect time to find the things that do work and don't work and try and find that term. Um, I'm so inadequate. You know, you, you, you're, there, you're there doing all your little hair manoeuvres and I'm thinking, I've got nothing I can do with mine. <laughs> You've not got much left, that's why I'm at. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you. Just in case anyone had no noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, you are totally right. And like I said, I know mum's watching because you just commented. We do need to do more lives. We need to do more lives from the shop. And you're right. You have sometimes you have to think right. This particular thing that I was going to do that can wait till tomorrow. Let's do a live. And I think as well, if you do a regular one, then your customers know when you're going to do it and what time, which is, I think, which is important. Um, and as well, I think I'm definitely using this time um, to think about the future uh, with the shops, what we can do, any events. Um, I know we're going to work together with your shoe shop. Um, and I think that's another, my advice would be, is if you do have a, a business, whatever that may be, use this time to plan ahead. Um, because someone once said to me, prepare to fail, or is it prepare to fail? Oh, I can't think of it. What is it? <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. It's, fail to uh... prepare. No. Fa fa fail to prepare and prepare to fail. That's the one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's so true, honestly. It is so, so true. Um, so, yeah, be different. Don't be like everyone else as well. Because why, why being like everyone else? What is that going to... Like, that's not going to get you anywhere. Well, I and the thing is, also, if people copy what you're doing, take it as a compliment. It used to annoy me. Well, take well, it as a compliment. Two, two, two answers or two comments on those things you were saying. I, mean, I always have the conversation with people about about like being different. I mean, particularly in my space with the finance, because a lot of the content I put I put out, you know, so, so many people say that's ridiculous or it's inappropriate or it's completely unprofessional. But you know, for me, all the other content that's out there is just so vanilla. Like you know, you look at my stuff, and if you don't like it, you don't like it. But you'll you certainly you certainly won't forget it. Uh, where, 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 mm. Whereas everybody, you know, all the other businesses get get lost in a sea of everything being the same, um, and then and then the, the other thing I forgot what you just said after that because it made me think of something else I was going to say. As you know, I was trying to say the <laughs> prepare to fail thing, and then I got it all mixed up. And I was like, oh, that's embarrassing. Um, <laughs> What was what was going to say? I can't remember. But but yeah, I mean, I think whatever content people are doing, you know, do do, do what you believe in. Do what is true to your you know to your personal values, to your brand values. And if people don't like it, well, no biggie because because they don't like you anyway. And like I I do I do a lot of uh, you know a lot of email outs and blogs and stuff. You know, which a lot of people read and go, well, you know, that's ridiculous. You know, the language is inappropriate or or, or the content's you know like crazy. And I always say the way I write a blog. It's the same way I do an Insta post. It's the same way, obviously, you know me. It's the same way I am in person. And if you don't like the, my blog, then you won't like me. And if you don't like me, we're not going to do any business together anyway. So, you know, what, what, why, why do I care? You know, I'd, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd rather do something that I know, it, you know I'm going to believe in and I know is going to uh, you know, attract attention um, and, and, then, and, you know, and then build the relationship from there, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, definitely. It definitely does. It definitely does. Um... And like what you said, there's so many great um, websites out there. Like when you've been giving tips on new, um, sorry, people that are start, just starting out in businesses. I think again, take this time to do your research, um, and yeah, plan ahead. Really. So I'm, I'm pressing a button on here. I'm about to press the wrong button. Sorry. What about what about own brands for you? Have you have you have you done have you done any of your own brand stuff? Or do you think you will? Um, for me, mm, I think it's hard. I do think it's hard. I'd, I'd never say never, but I just feel like what we've got now is is working. And I think, again, when you find something that works for, for you and your business and the customers love it, um, again, to keep the price right, etc., I think stick to it. 
like I said, never say never, but I don't, it's not something right now I would look at doing because I want to concentrate more online. I really, really, this year, want to get online flying. I really do. What, what, what about things away from the shop? You know, what, what other, other businesses have you ever wanted to do or ever been involved in? Uh, I don't know. Nothing really, have I? <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's a question. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, like I said, the shops have been open for 11 years. I can't, I can't hear you again. Oh, there you go. I don't, I don't know if you keep putting your finger on the mic when you moved it. I don't, I'm on my iPhone. I don't think so. Oh. Sorry. Somebody says, Matt's shaved. <laughs> this guy says, I am says, Matt's shaved. I give it to him. I've, I've not moved from the sofa for a week now. <laughs> get, get up and shave. Zara, Zara's even done a hair, especially. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, well, hang on, he's also said, is it just me or does it feel like everyone in the UK suddenly started training for the Olympics? <laughs> completely, completely. But do you know what though, like, I think we should take that as a positive. People who don't normally exercise as well or are just genuinely going for a walk, I think it's really good. I've loved seeing Joe Wicks as well doing his YouTube videos, like he did the fancy dress today. I think... It's great. I think as well, people that have got kids, they're going to run out of ideas or maybe have run out of, de of ideas of what to do. And like, a few of my friends, like, they have got, um, one's got a little girl who, who's two, another one's got a baby. I've got so many friends who are having a baby and they, it's, it's honestly ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's crazy. But no, if everyone is getting up, we're going for a walk, we're doing an online boot camp, good on you. Because you know what? It will make me feel better as well. You have been for a run as well today, Matt. So you've got <laughs> mentioned that. <laughs> oh, no, I, I'm always happy to say, I, I, go, I go, well, I try and go running every day. I actually end up going walking, really. But today, I actually did make sure I ran. So um, I, I, I normally walk most days. I mean, this is nothing to do with lockdown. I do normally go for a walk most nights. My walk and my sauna and steam room is my happy time every night. But, um, but yeah, I've just been eating so much shit. I mean, like, look, this morning I, I did this webinar at like nine o'clock and I'm pacing around my kitchen with a packet of uh, crunchy rocks. Do you know crunchy uh, rocks? Yes. So good. Uh, so good. <laughs> these, these are like lock, lockdown staples for me. And, and, and I've like, in different WhatsApp groups, you know, where in the local area, there's all kinds of different takeaways that are opening. I don't mean like not takeaways that have already been here, but, you know, people who are setting up kitchens in the home and doing, uh, you know, and doing delivery services and this, that and the other. So this morning I've found, um, I've found someone making sushi nearby. So that, that, that's, that's good to know. But I've done so much cooking, honestly. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, you, you, you'll have seen all my different onion dishes on my on my on my Insta story. I mean, if you don't like onions, you won't like my cooking. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> twice no. day. Say again. Yeah, I um, I mean, I've tried to cook, but just doesn't really end up you, that well. You sounded like so sad and demoralised when you were saying that. Like, I try, but the timings go wrong, and I just get a bit stressed. You know, I think you just don't overthink it right so, so like, like, like if people watch me cook they say what you're making and the answer is normally i actually don't know until it's finished i can i can tell you the vague ingredients that are going to go in there but i know that there's, you know, there's certain principles that i can follow and if we follow these principles you know it will it will all be cooked adequately and the and, and the flavors will work together but i just don't know what they are until it's finished well that's good for you for the confidence but yeah no me and cooking <laughs> don't go well together so yeah if there's any chefs out there that want to uh you know do any free online lessons please <laughs> let me know <laughs> so, so just asking questions what zara what is your biggest life lesson life lesson um uh, and, 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 and you want to know what your favorite recipe is is it mama's home cooking <laughs> my favourite recipe is when you cook. <laughs> um, my favourite recipe. I don't think I've ever read a recipe in my life. I think that's the problem. Now I don't know. I'm all right doing breakfast. What? Toast. I did a Thai Toast. curry actually. That's a lie. I did a Thai curry and um, a pad Thai. That was nice. Um, but my biggest life lesson, as in like, oh God, this 
some weird comments on here. Um, I don't know if the eggplant's for you or me. Um, <laughs> ooh, life lesson. I guess not worry too much and just if you if you want to do something, just go and do it, I would say. No, hashtag no regrets, yeah? Uh, no, I wouldn't hashtag that because I do have quite a few regrets. I'm not going into them. I think. What do you say? You say we're not going into them. You no, go, into, just... go into what? Go into one that you're happy to go into. No. Okay. <laughs> um, I think go for it. And do you know what? If it does, at the end of the day, though, if it doesn't work out, like it doesn't work out, like it's not the end of the world. I just would hate to look back on my life and think, do you know what? I wish I did that. Like you only live once. What, what, what's on your, tell, tell me three things on your bucket list. Hang on. I said I only had 10% of battery. Three things on my bucket list. Mm. This is not about fashion or business, Matt. <laughs> it was life. It was fashion, business and life. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'd like to do a skydive. Oh, yeah. Let's, 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 let's <laughs> go, we'll go back to fashion. Somebody in the comments asked you asked what your favourite fashion brand was. Um, well, my own. If that, if I only shop at my own shop. But 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 do you do you sell do you sell brands or or is it, is it like uh, how how is it all let's say unknown brands that that, that are memed up if that makes sense. Yeah, pretty much. Um, we stock Freddie Jeans as well, which I'd say in store are our um, sort of biggest brands that we stock, that we sell so many of. Um, yeah. You, you do Forever Unique as well, yeah? Yes, we do. Yes. We do. Um, I love Bell Avenue. They've had some great bikinis. Not that I'm going on holiday anytime soon, but if anybody... I love Bow Avenue. I've always been a big supporter of them. Um, I mean, if it, if it, like I said, just all just shop at Mimi. <laughs> I put the put the website in. <laughs> are, 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 there, are there any brands that you want to try and get into Mimi, or any any, any that you are actually going to get in there that uh, that you know about? Uh, not at the moment, to be honest, Matt. Uh, like I said to you before, for us, we found what works. Um, we get new stock in every single day. We don't buy a lot of things, um, which, again, we have so many regular customers. They love to come in and see new uh, things. So, sorry, I've got an intruder. <laughs> um, which, like I said, yeah, for us, it's great. And a lot of people who do come in regularly, they want to see new things. So, at the minute, no. But like I said, never say never. We we go to um, Pure, a really big fashion exhibition twice a year. Um, we were in Paris about five weeks ago. Um, and we're always on the lookout for new, exciting brands. But yeah, at the minute, um, yeah. I think you, you went to Paris the day before I was supposed to go. Do you remember? Correct. That was correct. And it, got, and it got cancelled. And it got cancelled for us. We we got we got sent the um, the line sheets through to order you know to order off the uh, off the uh, web instead. I know you said. And is that how is that for you then? Like, are you? How's how's the shop performing? Well, I mean, well, well the but, shop's but, closed, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but but the, but the business, you mean? For, for, for now, the the web the web is doing the web is up. At the level which is effectively in in excess of what uh, of what the shop will be doing if the shop was open, if that makes. Okay. Sense. Um, but also, you know, we're not we're not getting any new deliveries in, so you know, so, so there's going to be a point, you know, there's going to be a point when this runs out. I mean, a massive line for us is Alexander McQueen trainers, mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, and, and the factories have shut down, and, and we know we're not getting any more in. I mean, I mean, we were doing absolute bucket loads of those i mean they're, they're one, of, one of our one of our biggest line well they are our biggest individual line yeah. um but so you look at everyone and so many people have got them mm. but um, again for, for, i think for a lot of especially fashion shops as well um i'm i'm very lucky to not have pre-ordered 
um, any clothes and have to tie money up in it. But I know a lot of people have. So have you have you pre-ordered anything for winter and had to put a percentage of money down? Like, will you get the deliveries? I think that's what I'm, again, that's, that's scary because I know a lot of people, a lot of people who have wedding dress shops as well, you know, they've all had to pre-order all the dresses. People have paid 50% deposit. And it's like, when, when is it going to uh, arrive? I mean, if that's it ever does. I mean, the, the the honest answer is I kind of don't know where it's going. I mean, I mean, yes, we we've we've done all we've done all the pre-orders. No, no, we haven't paid because we, you know we'll either be on credit terms or we'll be or we'll be due to pay at you know at the point that they're about to ship them. But but in theory, yeah, we're still on the hook for that. But then you know th there's there's other issues like you know we we've got summer stock you know that, that we won't be able to sell i mean let's just say we yeah. get we get open in a couple of months or i don't know let's say we get open in four weeks time six weeks time whatever you know we've got you know an amount of summer stock that will need shifting because we know we've got to get rid of it because we've got to get rid of it in, in time for time for winter uh you know we, we haven't been able to sell it at full price uh you know th th then then we don't get enough time to, so i guess we've got had deliveries coming in that normally we would want x amount of time to be able to sell them at full price you know, before we mark them down. But there's going to be deliveries coming in that we're stuck with that we're effectively going to have to discount immediately. And um, mm. it's all just, you know, knock on effect, knock on effect. And I guess, you know. Please get a charger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, think, I think for me, you know, no, no one really knows where we're going. I mean, I, I, I don't really deal in the theories, theories of what's happening. I, I try and deal in the, in the kind of here and now and, and, and the, and the fact, facts of today. Um, yeah. um, but I think it, what I'm saying is, though, I think a lot of businesses out there will be will be really worried. Oh, hundred percent. Really yeah. Mm. It's, um, it's definitely so, going to be weird. So, so, so when when are your next deliveries due in? So again, luckily for us, I've had everything in because I buy every week. Whatever I buy, I can just <clears throat> pay for there and then, and then it gets delivered the next day, pretty much. And, Apart from like Freddy Jeans, Forever Unique, etc. And and the stuff the stuff that you're selling, are you uh, because obviously you're still trading online. Are you still trying to buy stuff? Are you st you're still buying new stuff at the moment where you can. To be yeah, if 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 there is any anything to buy, the yeah. majority of the wholesalers are closed. Um, I've had a couple of new deliveries in today. Um, which again, hats off to Royal Mail who have been been delivering. They've been incredible. Um, again, while I'm on sort of key workers, a, a huge thank you to all the NHS workers as well. And I'm slightly going off the subject, but I just wanted to get that in there. Um, yeah, like I said, the majority of wholesalers are closed. If any are open and I like something, obviously, yeah, I'm going to buy it um, for sure. Because people, people, are, people still need clothes to wear slash need new tracksuits <laughs> slash Sorry. need new oh. gym wear because it's the only thing people are wearing. <laughs> the, the, the sun, the sun's moving. I'm trying, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to find somewhere less sunny. Can you see me? No, <laughs> I can see. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of the same as you. So many factories are closed. Um, there's not much new stock coming in. When we do reopen, again, we, we have got some stock. Yeah, we do. Um, we are offering a discount on that. Um, I think that's important as well. I've seen a lot of businesses who are just doing the normal price um, from sort of a business, business side. Get the money in the bank. <laughs> you know? We're 10%. We're, we're if you can, but... Sorry. No, I was just saying we're we're ten percent off on on all our stuff at the moment. Yeah, which again you don't want to do because normally for us it's a, a busy time of the year. Normally people every, people are normally on Easter holidays. They've come in for a last minute outfit to travel in. They've come in for the you know summer sandals. Uh, you know all our summer sandals. I know I'm talking about shoes. Like don't kill me. It's a different thing. <laughs> Your designer wear. Um, but people like to treat themselves and, you know, sort of you work hard, play hard, as I always say. Why why not treat yourself? But again, they, they, they can't do that. Um, so, yeah, like I said, you're often discount. We've been often discount. Um, but I've seen a lot of people that haven't, which, 
think you need to personally but because people as well people have spent money elsewhere you know they're spending more on shopping than they ever had trying to find a bloody loo roll is like oh, yeah. especially toilet paper they're spending a lot more on toilet paper yeah it's like trying to find the winning lottery ticket i think at the minute. <laughs> But I don't know what everybody's doing with it. I mean, I also don't know. Now, now that everyone's going to the supermarket, everyone, I went to Marks and Sparks yesterday, and you know, I've gone in, and, and okay, most of the stuff's all right, but there's just no, you know, there's no fruit, there's no veg. And you, know, you speak to the shop workers there, and they're getting deliveries every single day as normal. You know, there's no shortage of any single line, and we're yeah. back to this now. So, you know, so what are people still doing? I don't know. I think people... I think... People are still panic buying, but at the end of the day, though, if you are a key worker, I know all the supermarkets have been incredible and uh, offering the, the hour where they can go in and, and have a priority section. And, but I think so many people are panic buying still, or they are buying things that they don't necessarily need. Yeah, I've bought a lot of pot noodle, a lot of pot noodle, but I don't think that's a panic or because they don't need it, it's just pot noodle. Easy meal. <laughs> <laughs> It's such a sunny day. Look at that. So. I know. I feel like my face keeps going a bit yellow and white all in one go. Oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to hold it. I'm just going to hold it. It's driving me mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find. I'm going to find somewhere not sunny. There we go. You got a guided tour of my house. Everyone gets a guided tour. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, I'm comfortable now. Mm. Pete says, what are you drinking, Zara? She's not drunk for a while. She's getting withdrawal symptoms. Me? I'm yeah. drinking a red wine. I've treated myself. It's Friday. George says he supports you 100%. Good That's nice. a blush. I had some questions, but I, I'm worried if I go off this, as in questions people sent me, I'm worried yeah. if I go off this, it'll end. It won't end. It won't end because I'm controlling it. If you know what I mean. But uh, you, you should, what are you going to do? Just like swipe up to look to your um, to look to your um, notes or something. Yeah. Well, people, some people ask me them. Go on. Go for it. Well, if it ends, we can just join now. Okay. I don't know. I'll wait for you. I'm going nowhere. Uh, no, I can't do it. I want to let you. Mm, I don't think so, unless anybody has any tips. Somebody's asked if I have anything to do with Holland and Barrett. No, I do not have anything to do with Holland and Barrett. I'm having a blast, I'm having a blast through these questions well. So is, oh, Viv, Viv likes my pink top. Thank you, Viv. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's definitely... And also, if any um, small, like, local independent businesses, um, I did it a few weeks ago i'm more than happy to do a shout out on my story so if anybody knows anyone that would appreciate it like i said even if you get a follow from it a like an order anything i just i know it's hardly anything i know it's only something small but anything i can do to help with my following i just think trying to keep things positive is really important look at it Dylan Brown, I know Dylan, he's one of the regulars on my lives. He wants to know what you studied at school. Well, every time I ask you a question, you tell me it's not business or fashion. Go on, what did you study at school? <laughs> I hope none of my teachers are watching because I know a few of them follow me on Instagram. <laughs> well, for my GCSEs, I did French, geography, drama, and music. What, what do you do for music? Do you play an instrument? No, I sang. Oh, okay. I sing. I actually am trained in musical theatre. No, Matt, you are not getting a song. <laughs> I was. I wasn't. Gonna, I wasn't going to say anything. I've learnt my place. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I did at school. I, at school, just I did not enjoy it. You didn't enjoy just school. Didn't. No. How old were you left? Did you did you do your A levels? Did you leave at sixteen? No, I left at sixteen. And what did you do then? Go straight into the shop? Go straight yeah. into the shop, yeah? Yep. Yes, I did indeed. And it was the best decision I ever made. Fantastic. Looking through this, see what else in there. 
what is your dream holiday destination? Mm. Well, I was in Thailand for New Year and I absolutely loved it. So I'd, I'd, I'd go back there. Uh, had you been there before? Oh, oh, by the way, you, your mum wants you to sing. <laughs> no, just, just, just <laughs> Are you kidding? No, I swear to you, that's what she says, yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah, you, you can't say no to mum. Uh yes I can because I'm not with her. <laughs> no, oh. no one is getting a song. Oh Callum says in terms of accessing the messages people sent, if you're near a laptop you can pick the messages up on your web version. And Oh, well I'm and, not, I'm with my iPhone. And all these I'll, I'll, I will answer to people's questions though, if you, who, when you've sent who sent them, because someone asked a really good one, um, saying, "Do you think it was something like will the, how do you think the fashion industry will be af after sort of the coronavirus?" Um, I think it's like I said, it's, I think it's going to be bloody hard. Excuse my language. Um, yeah it's it no, i think I, some businesses will do great but i think other fashion fashion businesses won't um like i said just purely sort of touching on if they have had to pay for certain stock if they've got some really high summer stock involved i mean if we get an absolute booming summer and it's hot permanently then great but everyone's gonna have to go on sale if like it or not everyone will have to go on sale I mean, I, I think from a consumer's perspective across the board, there is, you know, reg regardless of when this ends, there is going to be such a blow to, to confidence in general. You know, such such a you know such a blow to people's spending power, and again, I think such a complete wake up call and reset that um, okay, look, once we're out of lockdown for sure, so people are going to want to go out and probably have a have a drink and have a bit of dinner and you know, and go wild, you know, for a night or maybe for a couple of nights. But I think, I think I you hope know, so. <laughs> but but I think ultimately so many people are going to be so heavily financially affected from this that you know, I mean a lot of people think oh you know as soon as we're out it just bounces back up again there's absolutely no way I mean you know, I mean the, the the level the level of um, financial distress has already happened before and this has barely begun you know I mean I mean yeah you know, a lot of, a lot of the things I've been talking about on you know on my lives and my webinars is that you know. The, the businesses and the financial problems that are, pe people are really having um, are not so much corona problems, but problems that have been you know, inherent in their businesses anyway over the last, you know, one, two, three, four years, but have kind of been kicked down yeah. the road and kicked down the road. And now it's not possible to kick them down the road anymore because you know, there's, no, there's no loans, there's no turnover, there's no nothing. So, you know, for me, the problems that people have got now okay the corona related because corona's happened but it's not the real effect of corona you know another two weeks another four weeks six eight ten twelve weeks you know the 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 the, the catastrophe that people are going to have in them in their lives is going to take months and months and months to you know to, to rebuild back up you know once uh once people start spending again what would your advice be matt to to anyone who has got a business or has just started to kind of I don't know, I guess, keep positive or... Well, I, I mean, my, my advice in general is always based, based around market, you know, marketing and marketing growth, brand building. And, and, you know, my biggest piece of advice for everyone now is to... I mean, look, I know we've been joking on this about, you know, being at home, drinking wine, you know, d d doing boot camps and forgetting to shower. But, but you know, I'm, I'm really hammering home to people that now is the time that, you know, that whether you're a business owner, whether you are an entrepreneur, whether you're an employee, you know, now's the time to be using your time as, w as wisely as possible to do, to, you know, to do all the things that you haven't been able to do because you claim you've not had the time before you know, to, to take that course that you need to take or, or to, to do that marketing that you haven't done and to really, really just hammer the living daylights out of marketing. You know, now is the time to build brand. Now's the time to get audience. You know, you've got all everyone's sat at home now gagging to consume content and you know and you've only got two choices are you a consumer or are you a producer mm. um and you know we can all be sat here watching netflix we can all be watching everyone else's instagram live or we can or we can be out there doing it ourselves and there is so many eyeballs and 
begging for something to keep them busy with now. That if you've got if you've got a product, if you've got a story to tell, now's the time to do it. But look, when we come out of this, it's going to be tough for everyone, but it's going to be less tough for the you know, for, for the for the people that have got a following. And you know, I think. I think the way to recession proof the way to recession proof anything is in brand. You know whether that's a business if it's a business it's a business brand. If it's you as an individual, it's about having a personal brand, having a personal skill set. Uh, you know and 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 the you know the ability to you know to earn money or to add value in any circumstances. So we just got very serious very quickly then, didn't we? It's good. I think that's what people want to hear. So and your mom is still asking you to sing, by the way. Well, <laughs> I can't see these, so absolutely <laughs> so you believe not me. a chance. <laughs> and your mum also says that Eddie, whoever Eddie may be, Eddie says hello. Oh, my French bulldog. <laughs> and Callum says, in terms of supporting local businesses, how do you feel like com how do you feel about companies like Amazon with aggressive business plans and large market shares that make it difficult for the smaller businesses to stay afloat? Uh, I don't know. It's that in itself is hard. I think everybody uses Amazon. I'm sorry, like it or not, if you just need that quick thing, Amazon are there. Um, I think it's hard because they are such a big business. How can we, as in a small local independent business, how can we ever keep up? I think. I hate saying it, but in a nutshell, I think you've just got to sort of let them get on with it and concentrate on yourself. But I mean, How for me, for me, you keep up by by, by being unique, by being local, by you know, by, by offer it. Yeah, I mean, the only way to compete with anybody is to is to offer something that they that they can't offer. You know, and what what can't Amazon offer? You know, they they can't offer a friendly service in Hessel. You know, they they they, right. they, they, they can't offer. Uh, you know. Um, personal personal DMs, you know, to, to 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 somebody somebody who loves your product, and you know, okay, can you scale a business to co you know to, to compete with the eight, nine, ten, you know, twelve figure business that Amazon is? No, not at all. But can but can you make you know can you still make money in your locale by offering a product that people want? You know, by being friendly, by being by being proactive. I mean, I I, I always get this, asked this question about uh, you know re retail and the high street in general, and I always use an example of um of the the good place I buy my clothes from in Leeds because I mean I'm a super lazy shopper. I actually don't shop online. I go to what literally one place for ninety percent of my clothes, and it's the same shop that's been open for like thirty five years. But the guy who owns it, uh, you know, and it's, it's a family business now, so it's his son and wife and daughter as well. You know, it's the kind of business where he'll ring me up and go, Matt, you know, I've just got these shirts in, uh, and I know you like them. Or, Which is or, what we do. We do exactly. to our customers, yeah. And it's not because it's it's really not because we want the sale. It's generally because they like it. They want something because they're going away for the weekend, and you know, they they like to hear from you. They really, really do. Um, and I, I say to all my staff, I said, build a customer relationship because, again, that is what makes you unique. That is what customers want. If they have the time to, to shop, um, if, like I said, if I had the time um, to shop or if I needed an outfit for a special occasion, I would rather go somewhere where I would get a personal service I could get a cup of tea or a, maybe a cheeky Prosecco at one o'clock in the afternoon and enjoy the experience. I really would. And like I said, I believe and I truly believe that is what we offer. Um, and that's what makes us different. Not just because of a, a personal service, but everything else that, that comes with it. 100%. Listen, this is going to, we've been on 59 minutes and I learned last night that when you hit 60 minutes, it automatically cuts you off. So are we are we are we are we saying adios or are we coming back on? We can say adios. I mean, my takeaway will probably be here in about twenty minutes. All right, listen. <laughs> so I'm not doing boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> well, forget boot camp. Everyone who's joined, thank you so much for coming, Zara. It's been super fun to catch up. And um, yes, thank you for having me. No, no, thanks for coming. Enjoy the wine. Enjoy the takeaway. And uh, let's let's do this again <laughs> next week. Yeah, sounds good. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.